The internet has become one of the most revolutionary technologies of the post-war era. With almost 40% of the world's population now online, it has brought wider access to information than any other medium before it, connected individuals and communities across the globe, and enabled transformations of organizations from business and culture to health and education. This has led to unprecedented access to human knowledge, communities of interest forming with no regard for geography, a platform for anyone to have a voice, and for entirely new forms of social organisation and innovation. Much of this has been possible because of the extraordinary principles of openness that the internet was founded under, and which continue to permeate it at every layer. These transformations have not come without a price. Information overload, a digital divide between the information rich and the information poor, a global platform for hate speech and other human darknesses, the dissolving of the once solid borders of the nation state, the erosion of older, more industrialized means of cultural production, the world's biggest copying machine, the world's biggest surveillance opportunity. The openness that has allowed the extraordinary growth of the internet has been under grave threat for many years. It is under threat from malicious individuals who use the internet for harassment of others or for computing malpractices. It is under threat from corporations whose long-standing business models have crumbled around them in the shift to a networked information economy. It is under threat from legislators who don't understand the technology and who are enthralled to lobbying. It is under threat from governments who have been undermined by losing their monopolies on social power, or who have turned to dragnetting communications of private citizens from across the globe. These threats continue to grow and may ultimately lead to the breakup of this extraordinary global network of networks. The first great experiment in pan-human freedom may soon be over. But it is not yet over, and nor need it be. Individuals, groups, organisations and coalitions, states and international bodies have long been taking action to try to keep the internet open. This project seeks to collect and publish as many of these methods as possible with the aims of highlighting what can be done and of inspiring others to do more. It divides the internet into distinct layers, physical, logical, content and social, and groups each issue at each of these layers. These methods range from the simple and easy to deploy, use open source technologies, join a campaign on a, on a digital rights issue, learn HTML, to the vast and complex, open up a wireless spectrum, reform, copyright law, foster multi-stakeholder participation in internet governance. Many of these methods have already been defined and described by leading internet scholars, but they can also come from you. There are three ways here to contribute your ideas for keeping the internet open. Tweet them using the hashtag 198ways. Add a comment to a layer page on the wiki or at this video on YouTube. Or add it to a layer page directly by editing the open wiki. You can find out more at bit.ly slash 198ways open. This project is one of both preservation and reformation. How would you keep the best and make the rest better? Contributions will be accepted throughout August 2013.